My name is Zheng Jirmai, and I have always been interested in Chinese history. The Tang Dynasty enjoys a reputation as one of the most prosperous and powerful eras in China's long history. The capital of the Tang Empire, Chang'an, welcomed people from around the world and was perhaps the greatest cosmopolitan city of its age. Today, I have come to the Huangzi Temple Museum in Guangyuan, Sichuan Province to learn more about one of the Tang era's most famous emperors. Performers in Guangyuan are celebrating the past. Historically, each year at this time, young women in the city would wear new dresses and swim in the river. This custom has evolved into the modern-day women's festival. The festival and performances celebrate the culture of local women and also commemorate the most famous woman to have been born in this region, China's only female emperor, Wu Zetian of the Tang Dynasty. She's one of the earlier of these female empresses. Well, I wanted to know what kind of person she was. How did she change China? And so we've come here to learn more about the origins and the birthplace of Wu Zetian. Guangyuan, once known as Lizhou, is located in the northern part of Sichuan, along the upper reaches of the Jialing River, and not far from the point where the borders of three provinces, Sichuan, Shanxi, and Gansu, come together. Unsurprisingly, given her significance in history, Wu Zetian has lent her name to many of the local customs, food, and places. I was interested in learning more about her story. What was her background? Do we even know what she looked like? I had questions, and Guangyuan seemed the perfect place to find those answers. Hello, I'm especially looking forward to seeing the only known likeness of Wu Zetian. It's a statue carved during the Tang era, and I wonder, what did she look like? <笑>他的眼神很气 the statue of Wu Zetian, which was carved during her later years, really gave me a sense of this remarkable woman's majesty and power. Wu Zetian entered the palace at the age of 14 in the service of the Tang Emperor Gaozong. After the emperor died in 649 AD, Wu Zetian spent time at the Ganye Temple, located just outside the capital for three years before returning to court and beginning her remarkable rise to power. After the birth of Wu Zetian, her parents donated funds to the temple to carve statues. This was also a way of cultivating merit in old China. This special form of artistic expression presents us today with a historical picture that is reflective of the distinctive style of that era.